Welcome to the Prelude to Computer Science video number 8 using logic gates. You may be asking yourself what good are logic gates? Well, you can make things with them. You can make adders. An adder is a thing that adds bits to bits. Um, you can make counters. You can make registers. Registers are just, uh, they're like memory units uh, that can store things and you can also shift the bits in them and you can add stuff to them. Um, control logic is used by the central processor to control the flow of uh, information throughout the computer. Let's build a simple half adder. A half adder adds two bits, giving t uh, two bits, a sum bit and a carry bit. A full adder will add three bits, two regular bits and one that was a carry bit from the previously added bits. But we're just going to build a half adder. Before we build a half adder circuit, we need to write down the equations for how this thing is supposed to work on paper and try to figure out how it works on paper before we build it. So I've writ the, written the equations here. The top row, we're going to call that bit A, and the bottom row, we're going to call that bit B. And we see here, that in the red there uh, uh, for the sums, uh, the red is the carry bit. We're going to look at the carry bit first here, and we see that the, the only time that the carry bit is a 1 is when A and B are both 1. Now, do we know how to get that? Do we know how to uh, figure out when A and B are 1? Of course we do. That happens with an, uh, with an AND gate. So we can use an AND gate to figure out uh, when there is a carry for at when we add two bits together. Now let's do the logic for the sum bit. And, and this time I have the sum bit in red. And uh, when we look at that, there, we see that there are two zeros and two ones there. And the only time that you get a zero for the sum bit is when the added bits are identical, when they're the same bit. So when we have a one and a one, we get a zero. And when we have a zero and a zero, we get a zero. Otherwise, if one of the bits is a one and the other one is a zero, we get a one. Now, do we know of a circuit that does that? Well, of course we know of a circuit that does that. That's the exclusive OR circuit that we talked about in the last video. So here we have our logic diagram for our half adder. All we do is we take our inputs A and B and we pipe those into an exclusive OR circuit to get our sum bit. But then we have to go back and we have to branch off from the A and the B and send that uh, also, send them also to an AND circuit to get our carry bit. Now the little blue arrow there shows where the, uh, the B branch crosses the A wire uh, that wire, the B uh, branch there, is actually continuous. I just uh, di want, didn't want to show that thing that it, uh, it doesn't actually touch the A wire. So this is the diagram. Take a good uh, look at it. You should pause this and uh, look at it and make sure that you understand this before you go on. Here's the truth table for our, our, our half adder. Uh, we have the inputs A and B, our columns 1 and 2. Column 3 is our sum bit, which is the exclusive OR of A and B. And column 4 is our carry bit, which is the AND of A and B. Now, we can do many, many other things with uh, these logic gates. Uh, it's very fun to work with them, very fun to build stuff with them. But we're not going to do that because it would get very tedious and get us distracted from uh, the main thrust of our uh, series. Uh, what I want you to do is to have a basic idea of how these things work, and I think you have that by now. If you're, if you're very interested in this, and it is very fun stuff, uh, it's possible that your high school will have a class called Logic Design. And most universities have classes on computer design and microcomputer design. It's very fun stuff. Where do you find these logic circuits? Well, where aren't they? It's in all your peripherals, your cameras, printers, uh, memory chips, CPUs, graphics accelerators, sound card, network cards, the microwave, the thermostat in our house has one.
not all thermostats and not all cameras, but most of the modern ones do, certainly digital cameras. <coughs> um, a CPU, uh, the central processing unit of a computer, can have millions of these things in one chip, even tens of millions uh, of logic gates in one chip. This is a schematic diagram of a TTL or logic tip, uh, chip. Uh, you'll notice that there's a notch on the left side of it. That notch is important because it helps you l locate uh, pin number one. Uh, there are 14 pins around this thing and I've, I have them numbered here. Uh, on a real chip you can't really tell uh, how, the chip, how the pins are numbered. Uh, uh, so what you do is you look for the notch and you keep that notch to the left and then the, the, the leftmost pin on the bottom, the closest pin on the bottom uh, is pin number one and then they're numbered uh, sequentially counterclockwise around the chip. Now this, the, the, the chip doesn't look a lot like this. The real chips don't look a lot like this, but they look, they're, they're, they're kind of similar to this. They're kind of similar. The pins instead of, uh, uh, actually have uh, very pin-like appendages that, that go down and those pins will stick inside of a, either a socket or some kind of a little uh, electronics board. Uh, and, um, and they're very easy to work with. It's very easy to, to uh, get poked with those pins or to bend them. So you want to be a little careful with them if you ever work with them. Here we have an example of a quad two input AND gate chip. Uh, it's called quad because there are four gates inside of it. It's called two input because each of the gates has two inputs and of course they're all AND gates. Typically uh, I think most of the chips I've ever seen have all had the same kind of gate on them. Um, now, uh, uh, one, ch one pin will be hooked up to ground, what is called ground or zero volts. Uh, that's a logical false, of course. And then one chip, in this example, uh, pin 14 is hooked up to what's called VCC. That means high volts. Uh, that means high or five volts, which is what we call logical one or, or logical true. Um, the other pins are uh, connected to the logic gates. Um, so here we have uh, pin <coughs> uh, uh, 1 and 2 are the inputs of gate 1. I have gate 1 circled in blue there. Uh, pins, a, uh, uh, pins 1 and 2 are the inputs of A and B and the output C is our carry bit and that's connected to pin 3. So that's exactly how you'd hook one of the uh, our, uh, the carry bit of our half adder up to a uh, logic circuit. Now this lo particular logic circuit is not uh, uh, it, I, I don't know that they make a one that looks exactly like this, but I think my, my my memory is that they're very similar to this, very similar kind of a layout to what I've drawn here. Um, in fact, I think this is identical to something like a, what's called an LS00 or an LS01 or, or something like that type chip that uh, is made by Motorola. So uh, I'm not going to do the sum bit. I think you could figure out how to do that. Um, uh, this is how you do just the, the, uh, the carry bit. Uh, this is going to conclude our discussion of uh, logic gates uh, logic circuits, that is, and uh, and uh, logic chips. Uh, and uh, the next time we, uh, the next uh, video is going to talk about uh, how to design a little computer. So thank you very much.